What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Welcome back to the channel. Shock Radio here. I finally got my hands on a second Lucifer from the Ravagers Ascension Battle Pass. So today, we're diving into a review of the new Lucifer Rocket Revolver. Now, this video isn't about whether the Lucifer is worth getting, because it absolutely is if you bought the Ravagers Ascension Battle Pass but more about which cabin pairs best with the Lucifer. And when you really think about it, the possibilities are endless since it fits into so many niche categories. It's not just a rocket launcher, but also a revolver. And because its primary classification is a rocket launcher, it sidesteps the revolver debuff from the Hadron cabin while still working with the revolver cabin, the Monotui. So which cabin is best for the Lucifer? Who knows? But today, we'll review four cabins with the Lucifer weapon to find out which one shines the brightest. Now, there are countless options for the, these weapons, and we're only reviewing four cabins in this video. If you want to see more builds using the new Lucifers, let me know in the comments below which cabin I should try next. So the first cabin we're testing out is the Monotui cabin. This cabin stood out to me because it's revolver specific with a unique perk that only works with revolvers, including the Lucifer. The perk reads, upon activation, all mounted revolvers with at least one projectile in the cylinder will start reloading faster. The more rounds in the cylinder, the more reload time is reduced up to 30%. All ammunition loaded this way will deal 20% 20 20 more damage until the cylinder is empty. The cabin's cooldown is 10 seconds. Now initially I misunderstood this perk. I thought the damage modifier also scaled with the number of rounds left. So I believed it was best to activate the perk with a full clip for maximum damage leading to a massive waste of ammo. Nope. you can be down to one shell and if you activate the Monotui perk, the next clip of 20 rounds will still deal 20% more damage. Pretty game changing, right? So this revelation has completely shifted how I approach this cabin with Lucifer's and future uh, rocket launcher or re revolver builds. So the build I'm featuring here is including an Odin generator for maximum energy gain, Colossus energy for increased acceleration on hovers, a flywheel for high quality reload module, an averter for increased damage resistance, and a chameleon for added stealth. Now, since we're using an epic tier cabin, we're down one energy point, so we had to make some sacrifices. It's tough to get both a defense module and a cloak on a Monotui build, so this one uses a lower quality version of each to make it work. If we drop the cloak, we could fit an Amamori instead and vice versa. So overall, I really like using the Monotui cabin with the Lucifers. Now that I know I don't need a full clip to activate the perk, I'm pretty excited to experiment with more Monotui builds. So this cabin might actually more be more viable than I originally thought. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So next up is the crowd favorite Harpy cabin. So I asked you guys on YouTube uh, which cabin you think pairs best with the Lucifer and the Harpy came out on top. The YouTube poll only allowed for five options. So if you have other suggestions, let me know in the comments. But you guys absolutely killed killed it with the Harpy votes. Now the Harpy cabin increases the volume of additional ammunition by 50% from ammunition and micro factory type modules, but also boosts explosion radius by 20%. The main attraction here is the explosion radius boost. Now since the Lucifer's perk increases the ammunition in the chamber, for every eight parts destroyed, the increased explosion radius can definitely enhance this perk. And we all know vehicle synergy is king in the wasteland. So while this seems like it could be the best perk, I found it to be rather niche. So let's start off with the obvious downside. Being an epic cabin, you're down one energy point compared to using a light legendary cabin. So for this build, I chose to drop the cloak entirely in favor of a Cyclops reload module and Amamori instead of an inverter as in the Monotui build. So the second major weakness is that the explosion radius is really only beneficial if parts are close together and lightweight with no blast resistance. It's effective against lightweight hovers and dog builds, but seems to struggle against heavy dog spiders with blast resistant armor or just really durable cabins. So often I found myself unloading full clips on cabins, but falling short of delivering the final blow. So in these situations, 
the damage modifier of the Manatui, or perhaps the Catalina cabin might outperform offering more consistent damage against heavier builds. That being said, I really enjoyed running the Harpy Cabin, and if you have it in your arsenal, it's definitely worth a try. Just focus on lighter armored enemies when possible. Now the third cabin we tested is the Griffin cabin. Now I noticed it was one of the most popular choices on exhibition, so I had to give it a shot. As a light legendary cabin, it maximizes energy when paired with the Odin generator. So for this build, the author opted for an MK2 cloak, flywheel reload module, Colossus engine for power, and Amamori for added durability. If I were to tweak it, I might go with a Cyclops reload module and a more basic cloak, but the MK2 lets you get the most out of the Griffin's stealth capabilities. Now the Griffin cabin is fast, making it great for evading dogs. The ability to cloak and go off radar allowed me to get into position and unleash maximum damage with the Lucifer's 20 round chamber. So there's nothing exceptionally unique about the Griffin cabin, but it pairs extremely well with Lucifer's and pretty much every other build or weapon in the wasteland. So the mobility and stealth factor are invaluable for keeping your weapon safe, especially when dealing with large hitboxes. So finally, we tested out the Kami cabin. Now this one stood out to me in the exhibition and with the syndicates potentially making a return to the wasteland, I had to see how a Neon Dragon build would perform. Now again, as a light legendary cabin, it provides maximum energy. Now this build includes the Odin Generator, Colossus Engine, Amamori, Cyclops Reload Module, and Oculus Radar. No cloak on this one. So the Kami's Cabin perk is particularly interesting, as is uh, most legendary cabins have quite a uh, a broad perk that can go with most weapons in the wasteland. The Kami Cabin perk reads, when activated, makes the armored car invulnerable to thermal and hostile effects and deactivates projectiles attached to the vehicles for four seconds. Cooldown of 16 seconds. Now this perk is a game changer, particularly against fire dogs, negating their 100% increased damage to heated parts. Combined with the cabin's high speed and power, it becomes an exceptional counter to fire dogs. The perk also nullifies the effects of sparks and flash, so your reload isn't negatively impact, and you can quickly escape their grip. It even counters cryo damage and destroys attached projectiles like the uh, Akari. So while there may be a limited number of legendary cabins, the options available have perks that are incredibly useful for the Lucifer Rocket Revolver, among other weapons. So overall, I'm really oh impressed God. with the Monotui and the Kami cabins. They might be my favorite so far. There are still plenty of cabins to try with these insanely fun weapons, so I definitely want to hear what you think in the comments below. I just think uh, if you weren't, you need to be hitting cabin really to take enemies out, so I didn't feel like the, uh, the, the explosion radius of the Harpy was everything you really needed compared to having that overall increase in damage if you can time it right. And the Kami Cabin, which is so good against uh, dogs and things like that, which is so good. So what cabin should I try next with the Lucifer Rocket Revolver? Let me know in the comments below. We're going we're gonna to be live this Sunday from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash shockradio, testing more Lucifer builds, reviewing your submitted builds, and giving away one rundown event pass to a lucky PC player. So follow me on Twitch and stop by our live stream to check out some builds and for your chance to win. A special thank you to all our Wasteland supporters who joined our YouTube channel as members. Your support is what makes this channel possible. Links are in the description below if you would like to help us grow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.